<laughs> um, sort of just been doing my own thing. I haven't had much education in art, um, except for a class in high school. I just have done it on my own. Um, my family is very different from me, so I was kind of the black sheep in that regard that I was an artist, creative. Um, I just kept making my own paintings forever. Um, and then, yeah, of course, most recently over the last 10 years, work, um, I started getting more serious about my artwork. Um, and a friend of mine um, actually encouraged me a lot because um, I was kept saying, like, well, I haven't. I don't have a degree in art, I haven't had any formal education in art. He saw what I was doing and said, you need to keep doing this. And I had a show, and it was a lot of small pieces. They all sold, and um, he's like, you've got something you got to keep going. So I've sort of developed my own unique process um, with different things that um, I've admired. Uh, between artists and between you know, antiques, different textures, um, and I just sort of put them all together. And I'm hoping they have a unique look, <laughs> which is something I've been striving for. And, um, and there's hands in it that you can see. I would say all my artwork stems from um, my own personal experiences, spiritual experiences life experiences, um, uh, my observations of humanity, society, um, divinity. I really do have a full vision of a piece before I even begin it. Um, it needs to be, for me, this sort of eureka moment, this um, uh, visualization of exactly the image that I want to do in. Um, and the meaning course coincides with the image. I pretty much already know what the color palette's going to be. Um, but then through my process, which is a lot of loose glazes, uh, washes, they tend to, this is something I've allowed myself to do over time, is lose control over um, uh, some of the processes, uh, which allows me to be more spontaneous and intuitive in the process, while at the same time having a very specific goal. Um, so that's new. I used to be really, really, really controlled, and I usually didn't like the outcome of that. So being spontaneous allows this energy to really come into the painting in its immediacy um, and gives me a certain level of freedom also, and it usually ends up being absolutely beautiful. Um, so it works out, having that balance of both. <laughs>